Now, amid the ongoing Israel-Hamas war, Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke on the way to establish peace. He said, and I quote, I have always believed that honest dialogue and sincere diplomacy should be the preferred path to resolve differences in an atmosphere free from fear and cohesiveness, be it the, in Ukraine or in Gaza. Our approach has been guided by this belief. We cannot let terrorists or violence set the agenda. India continues to support the two-state solution for the Israel-Hamas war. So this is the latest that we are being given to understand so far. Meanwhile, my colleague Brian Thomas joins us on the broadcast to give us the latest on this. Brian, over to you. What more details can you share with our viewers? Well, well, Ashavri, the Prime Minister said, uh, you know, very, very clearly said that India's approach towards the Israel Hamas war and even the Russia uh, Russia Ukraine conflict has been uh, guided by the belief that honest dialogue and sincere diplomacy should be preferred path to resolve all the differences um, in an atmosphere free from fear and uh, coercion and even um, he says that terrorist or violence cannot be allowed to set the agenda um, and he always say, he, he even says very firmly that he always believes that honest dialogue and sincere diplomacy should be the preferred path. To, to resolve differences in an uh, uh, atmosphere where, he, uh, where that is, there is free from fear and even um, uh, any any coercion, and he, be it in Ukraine or in Gaza, he says that the approach um, has been guided by this belief, and he cannot. He says that the, they cannot uh, let the terrorists or violent uh, violence set the agenda, and uh, notably also India definitely maintains a very robust stance on global issues, um, which includes you know condemning the terrorist uh, terror attack by Hamas on Israel and. October and uh, despite that also India continues to support the two-state solution for uh, the ongoing Israel Hamas war and um, during this conflict also I mean the Prime Minister emphasized the importance of establishing peace through um, sincere diplomacy and even honest dialogue advocating uh, for a resolution of differences in an atmosphere free from uh, all kinds of fear and he even highlighted that India's commitment to this two-state solution has always uh, been, been very prevalent for the Israel Hamas war and reiterating that terrorists or violence should not dictate the agenda. Um, he, op he even, you know, dropped parallels um, with India's approach in other conflict zones such as Ukraine and Gaza where he emphasizes that there should be peaceful and diplomatic resolutions that steers away um, from the influence of uh, terrorist, uh, terrorists or, or even violence. Yes, Asavi. Right, absolutely, Brian. Thanks for joining in and sharing those details with our viewers. Uh, Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Sanjay Shrivastav. He's an international affairs expert. Uh, good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining in on Newsdex. Now, this is what Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said as far as the Ru Russia, Ukraine, is Israel, Hamas war is concerned. He said that honest dialogue and sincere diplomacy should be the preferred path to resolve differences. What do you make of this statement coming in? Uh, very good morning to you. Good morning to Brian to, uh, and to all the <coughs> viewers. You know, uh, uh, our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's uh, words of wisdom uh, from time to time uh, uh, to the uh, international community and particularly those uh, uh, places where the conflicts are going on has been of enormous significance. And uh, if you remember Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's words of wisdom that this is not the era of war had, you know, resonated, still it, is, it resonates into various deliberation with regard to uh, uh, Russia-Ukraine uh, conflict. And when uh, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has given this uh, uh, latest uh, interview uh, where he said uh, that uh, uh, honest dialogue and sincere uh, diplomacy should be the preferred pathways to resolve these conflicts, these are yet again a visionary uh, leadership, a words of wisdom, which I am sure that uh, will be uh, taken uh, and heard across the uh, international community. And certainly, uh, when he says that the violence and terrorism, uh, they must not set the agenda. The agenda must be set by the you know, constructive ideas. The agenda must be set by the rules-based order, by the democracy, uh, by you know, peace and stability and prosperity. And these uh, ideas uh, 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 must uh, set the agenda not the violence, terrorism, intimidation, fear, coercion, etc., etc. So I think these words are enormously, you know, important. And if you look at the India's approach 
uh, we think, uh, whether it is a Russia-Ukraine conflict or uh, the Israel-Hamas conflict, we have been very consistent and clear. With regard to Ukraine uh, uh, and Russia uh, uh, conflict, India has said that uh, very clearly that uh, there has to be, you know, Im immediate uh, 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 you know, negotiation must start and uh, dialogue and diplomacy uh, is the only way uh, through which this conflict can be resolved. This conflict cannot be, you know, resolved on war fields. Uh, with regard to Israel, you know, Hamas conflict, uh, our India's uh, position has been very clear that there should be no compromise with terrorism and terrorist, uh, terrorism and terrorists uh, must be uh, fought and they must be defeated. But at the same time, it is also important to ensure uh, that uh, uh, there is a two-state solution of this uh, Israel-Palestine country and that's the only solution. And for, th for that to do, you know, dialogue and diplomacy is the only way forward. You know, and uh, if you look at the India's uh, influence uh, in the, in the uh, uh, Middle East region, it is, it is uh, you know, uh, enhancing, it is upgrading, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, kind of initiative India is part uh, of, uh, like I2, U2, India, United States of America, Israel, <coughs> UAE, and uh, India, Middle East, uh, Europe Economic Corridor, like initiative where India is a significant player that clearly shows that uh, India's influence uh, and, uh, and uh, is very much there. And that is why, in my assessment, Prime Minister Modi's words of wisdom will be taken seriously across uh, this region and particularly in these areas uh, where the conflicts are going on in the Middle East region and uh, European theater. And I'm sure that uh, Prime Minister Modi's uh, words of wisdom uh, will continue guiding international community uh, to resolve uh, these uh, uh, crisis uh, situation in the best possible ways. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.